Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2019 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology R-Line. This particular one is Fortana Red Metallic on the exterior with a Shetland Beige Leatherette interior. This car features a push button start, keyless entry on all four doors, R-Line badging on the side along with 20 inch R-Line wheels or Trenton wheels, body colored paint panels below the chrome line right here you also have piano black treatment along the um, fog light shrouds on the bottom with a little bit of extra chrome trim right there our line badging right there chrome accents on the roof rails and the bottom of the window sills and then a chrome Atlas badge on the back lift gate. Let's take a look inside. Here's a look at your power seat. Lumbar support right here, forward and back in the middle, and then also seat back right there. This car does also come with power door locks, power mirrors, heated mirrors, one touch up, one touch down on the windows, along with the window lock right here, power lift gate, where I can pull up on that handle there and actually open the rear hatch. I can actually pull up and hold it and that will actually close the same rear hatch. Volkswagen's um, standard instrument cluster here with the little uh, LCD screen in the middle for info screen, the rectangular screen in the middle. Automatic headlights, fog lights right here. Also a coin box for storage right here. Telescoping steering wheel. You can pull it out, push it in, raise it, lower it wherever you need it. And as part of the R-Line package, you get an R-Line badge right here on the steering wheel. And down below right there, chrome covered pedal caps. On that steering wheel, it's a flat bottom steering wheel where you can drive with it lower or closer to your lap. You also have cruise control section uh, functionality right here. Uh, this will also come with adaptive cruise control. So adaptive cruise control will allow you to set your following distance. So you just hit this little button right here and that changes your following distance in that display right there. Uh, part of that adaptive cruise control is a stop and go function. So you will actually have stop and go as well. Um, volume control is right here on the steering wheel. As for your safety features, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert and front assist are all standard. Over here on this side of the steering wheel, Google and Siri functionality right here using a USB plugged into your phone. So if you have an Android phone, obviously you're going to be using Google. If you have an a Apple phone, you're going to be using Siri. A long press and hold while you're plugged in will activate that for you. A single touch, or just a quick touch here will just bring up the voice command function. The view button here is going to bring up the same safety features or the following distance feature right here. So on the view, even though you have a view button on Nancy with tech, it's not going to do the function of the digital cockpit. So you can't change the view there. Um, song skip and preset skip is right here. On the radio, you can program up to uh, 18 presets on AM, FM, and satellite. Uh, this is what the FM screen looks like. Also, you have App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Mirror Link using that USB port right there. You can use Waze, you can use Google Maps, you can use Apple Maps as navigation source right here. It'll show up on this screen when you plug in using App Connect. Also for sound, you do have an EQ for your bass, mid, and treble. You can raise things right there or you can set it back to flat. Uh, also, your balance and fader. This is great for sleeping babies. You can take this and move it around where the speakers play at so you can change it. So if you have a sleeping kid, you can make the sounds disappear from where they're sleeping pretty nice that you can do all that rear view camera is going to be an HD camera with trajectory steering I can turn that and use that tells me where I'm headed also push button start right here electronic parking brake and then my drive modes for this all-wheel drive if I turn it to snow it's going to show up right here if I turn it to off-road custom I can actually adjust different aspects of the drive so I uh, adaptive cruise control I can change the sport I can turn things on and off change them to sport and then bring it back 
turn it back to the roadway. Now I have Eco, Normal, Sport, and Custom. I can change each one of those there just using this knob right here. Here's a look at that leather red interior. Wood grain interior across the dash and into the door. Glove box right here with an SD card reader and a CD player right there in the glove box with an extra SD card. Up here, this one has a mirror link mirror which allows you to do three door garage door memory. Also has a compass. Um, so you can do your program your garage door in there. There's a vanity mirror right here and also right here. Carnet, free for six months. Information, roadside assistance, and uh, emergency services are right there. Sunglass storage is right here. Here's a look back at the bench seat. As we hop out, we're going to take a look at that second row. Oh, there is another USB in this armrest right here, and there's enough storage in there for a medium-sized purse. Climate control, before we go there, push button up here, you can touch it on a screen, you can change things here. Uh, I've gone over this in some of the other videos, so you can kind of get an idea. Um, you can change fan speed, you can lock out the rear. Air care is going to be your filtration system, where it filters out air from the outside and brings it in. Uh, it basically clears the air. Um, this car you can get with a sunroof. This one does not have it, but you can get it. It's a $1,200 upgrade. Uh, this car comes in at $43,525. There's a look at the bench right there. Armrest folds down right here, and there is your cup holder right there in the middle. This is a three-seat hookup right here, which allows you to put three child seats right here across this seat, latch hookups all the way across. If you need into the third row with those car seats installed, you can just lift up on this handle right here, slide the seat forward, the entire seat slid forward, the car seat stay buckled in, and your passengers climb in at the back, adjust your headrest, and climb in. Notice how high off the floor that sits. That gives you adult comfort in the back. Someone 6'4 is not going to complain about being back there. These seats are 60-40 split. They do also have their own controls back here for the rear seats. Two USBs and a 12 volt charger right there. Here's a look up to the front from the second row seats. Again, that Shetland beige interior, leatherette. Sunshade built into the door. Cup holders in the door as well right there. 17 cup holders in this option. As we come around to the back, it is a power lift gate. Here's a look through from the back, true seven seater setup. There's a look up to the front from the back. C pillar vents on each side for your rear passengers, carpeted backs on the seats so they fold down. You don't get scuff marks and discoloration on the seats. Uh, they thought of everything in this car. And you just lift up on this handle here. These seats fold flat as well as the second row seats. There's no opening in the middle when you do the bench. Otherwise, in the captain's chair, there's an opening right there. Seat belt clips on the side. 12 volt charger right there more cup cup holding options there and storage options same right here this particular one comes with cargo blocks cloth mats and monster mats as we lift up underneath right here this one does also have a tow hitch extras package so it not only has the hitch it has the, the tow ball as well and these seats just pull up with a with a single hand you don't need two hands for this so if you're creating a baby mom while you're doing this, you can do it one-handed. Pretty nice. Push button for close right there. There's a look at the tail lights. Back into the car. This car comes with a six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty from Volkswagen. That's six years, 72,000 miles, bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. Also, if you buy from me in Bomberville, St. Peter's, here in St. Louis area, you will get a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty. That means if you move to Phoenix, you move uh, to Seattle, you move to Poughkeepsie, you move anywhere that's not here in St. Louis, you still have that coverage. We don't require you to be local to have that warranty. Also, we're going to give you three years of free maintenance. Now, on the maintenance, you do need to come to our dealership to get that. Your 10, 20, and 30,000-mile oil changes are covered by the dealership. Also, if you fly in and buy from me, I will pick you up at the airport. We're 10 minutes from the airport here in St. Louis, St. Louis Lambert International Airport. I'm 10 minutes away from there. So fly in, buy with me, drive your ride home. If you guys have any questions at all, please give me a call, 636-290-4257.
636-290-4257 on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.